It's fun to grow your own flowers from seed. You can grow many interesting varieties that aren't available at your local nursery. And you'll get lots of plants for very little money. Hi, I'm Kathy LaLiberté with HomeClick.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to grow your own flowers from seed. Here's what we'll need. Packets of seeds, seed starting trays, seed starting mix, a small watering can, a plastic tub, a fluorescent light fixture, and an electric timer. First, pour some seed starting mix into the tub and add warm water. Seeds should not be started in potting soil, garden soil, or compost. Mix it around with your hands, adding just enough water so the consistency is moist, but it doesn't drip when you squeeze it. Let's start with zinnias. These are Thumbelina zinnias, and we'll be growing 18 plants. We will use three of these plastic six-cell trays, so each plant has its own little growing chamber. Fill the cells with moist growing mix to within a half inch of the top. Doing that right inside the tub contains the mess. Press down very gently to make sure the cells are actually full. Open the packet and pour some of the seeds into the palm of your hand. Put one or two seeds into each cell and then cover them with a quarter to a half inch of growing mix. Water gently so you don't disturb the seeds, but make sure the soil is completely wet and that water runs out the bottom of the cell. Now we'll plant these alyssum seeds in this compressed peat container. Fill it up to within half inch of the top and gently smooth the surface. This technique works well for very tiny seeds like petunias, impatiens, pansies, and alyssum. Pour some seeds into the palm of your hand and scatter a pinch or two over the soil surface. There's no need to cover the seeds with soil. Just water well to settle them down into the soil. Once the plants are big enough to handle, you can transplant them into individual pots or plant them directly into the garden. Most seeds take from 5 to 14 days to germinate. During this time, it's important for the growing mix to stay consistently moist. Either put the containers into a tray and cover them with a clear plastic cover, or loosely cover the containers with plastic, just not too tightly. After you've planted the seeds, put the containers under lights. Keep the lights very close to the foliage, within four to six inches. Water thoroughly every few days. Using a timer will ensure you don't forget to turn the lights on and off. When the plants have two sets of leaves, start fertilizing them. Once every week is plenty. Seedlings that have been pampered indoors need to be gradually introduced to life outdoors. This is called hardening off. About a week before transplanting them into the garden, bring your seedlings outside for a few hours in a protected spot and bring them in again at night. By the end of the week, they'll be eager for life in the garden. Thanks for watching. To check out all the best brands for your home, visit us on the web at homeclick.com. For more exclusive home and garden videos, click on the links below.